to me. Go on. I want someone to witness what you just said. Tracy, would you like to go away for the weekend? Can you believe this? Come. What were you thinking? It's not funny. It's with me and Gary. Oh. Is that so bad? It's terrible. Look, I just want the three of us to go away and have a lovely time. But I can't have a lovely time if he's there! <sighs> Fine. Have you got some packing to do? You've upset Cam, and you've done yourself out of a weekend away. Not a bad morning's work, Tracy. Don't you think you're being a little unreasonable? Go after her and say you were wrong. Why should I? Because it's about time you started thinking of others. You're just being childish. instead of me. But she didn't... I mean, I've always been there for her. And then the minute monkey features turned up, it's all, oh, I'll do what I want now, Tracy. You can please yourself. It's all Gary this and Gary that. I mean, I can't believe she'd choose him over me. What is she thinking? He's not even that funny. And I've seen better looking camels. I wouldn't mind if he was rich and had a decent haircut. And he needs a shave. Does he know what race is for? Can't believe she'd choose him over me. I mean, why should I apologise? Are you two listening? Uh, yeah, of course. Well, if they think I'm being childish, I'm going to give them exactly what they want. They're about to be beakered like they've never been beakered before. Glad we could help. Everything all right, Elaine? Who did this? Roxy? Typical. Anything bad happens, blame a wellard. Wasn't me, right? What about you, Tracy? Mike, I can honestly say with my hand on my heart, he had absolutely nothing to do with me. What? <laughs> Busted. When do I wear tweed? What do you want? What's going on? <sighs> Don't start on me. I didn't do nothing. I mean, what are you wearing? You can't tell me what to wear just because you reckon you're in charge. I'm not in charge. Yeah, you got that right. But talk to the hand. Can? Anything? What? What are you doing here? You're being funny. No. I live here. Uh, where are you going? Uh, anywhere away from here, and by that I mean away from you. Please don't go. I need to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to you! The world's gone mad. <laughs> Oh, hi, Tracy. Oh, Mike, thank goodness you're normal. I like to think so. The whole place has gone topsy-turvy. Mm. Something 
things never change. This is awful. That is totally uncalled for. What? You're supposed to be supporting me, Tracy P. Girl. All I want to be when I grow up is a chef. And all you ever give me is criticism. <laughs> well, if that's the case, there's only one place for it. <laughs> Driving me mad. Okay, I give up. Who are you supposed to be? Ooh, cool badge. Latest gimmick from head office. Come on, you better start getting your act together. What? Do I have to spell it out? Uh, yeah, that might help. Well, you are head care worker. I'm head care worker. Yeah, and it's about time you start pulling your weight around here. These kids have been running me ragged for hours, especially Marco. Marco? He's sweet. Bonkers, but sweet. He's a teenager from hell. Teenager? Here we go again. Come on, I need backup this time. <laughs> right! <laughs> that is enough. Did you two hear me? Tracy Beaker, shut your big fat gob. <laughs> Speak. You're joking. She's the gobbiest kid in the house. You got that right, munchkin. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> right. As I'm in charge, apparently, I want this place tidied up. So, you two, clean the windows until I can see my face in them. What for? It only crack them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think that's funny? Well, after the windows, you can sort out the mess you made in the kitchen and then do the upstairs bathrooms. No way. <laughs> yes. Way, or you'll have no dinner and television will be banned for life. And that's just me getting started. You can't do that! Oh, I'm sorry. Hands up all head care workers in the room. Oh, just me then. Good. Get on with it. Uh, this includes you too. Uh, I don't think so. I'm going out with my mates later. No, you're not. Privileges are cancelled. I'm so going to get you back for this. <laughs> Well, I've got the power, and I'm enjoying it. I'm literally living the dream, Roxy. This is a piece of cake. Just want you to take a look at the kids' menus for this week. I'm gonna need a bit of an increase on the budget. Just don't know where the food goes. <coughs> what? You? Um, your, um, size? <laughs> yeah, I know, I have lost a few pounds. That's because I've cut snacks in between meals. Um, what are you doing? Collecting my stuff. I've been sacked. By who? Me. And what in the name of McFly are you? I'm the children's home inspector. Your boss. No. Not you. Anyone but you. And this is my fellow inspector. Crash. That's Mr. Crash to you. Cover up him, please, darling. Darling? Custom greeting for a fiancé. You're getting married? To her? Tomorrow. Not that it's any of your business, Miss Beaker. You've got to be joking. You can't marry her. Right, um... I think it's time for my inspection now. <clears throat> Where are the children? In the lounge, tidying up. I'm on a tight ship here. And it looks like they've just gone overboard. Sinking ship to me, Miss Beaker. But it's not my fault. They're out of control. Now it's the poor social worker who blames their children. 
Right, will somebody please tell me what's going on? We're rebelling! <laughs> Minga made me clean the toilets with my toothbrush! <laughs> That's a lie! Well, we wouldn't act up at all if she didn't lock us in. I suppose it's just a cry for help. Is this true? No! Cam, tell Crash the truth. Do you mean about starving us as well? You don't believe this rubbish, do you? You have no dinner for life. I did not say that. She's docked in the tape badly. Isn't that right, Cam? If I say yes, can we have some food later? We're all so hungry. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You are sat. What? You think yourself lucky we don't involve the police? I can't let Justin Littlewood sack me and walk away with Crash. Just go and tell them you made it up. No! But you're being unreasonable. You can't treat people like this. Just go and tell them you were wrong. Don't want to. But you're being childish! It's about time you started thinking of others. It's about time you started thinking of others. Oh. Hello. Please don't mind, Justine. What? Take it easy. It's quite a bump you've had. So good to be back. You're right, Josie. Cam, I am so sorry. <laughs> what? For what? For being me, I suppose. And for being unreasonable. You ought to run into doors more often. Feeling? Yeah, a lot better, thanks. Um, Mike, Elaine, just wanted to say I'm sorry. I was totally out of order earlier. Tracy Beaker apologised? Yeah, and all it took was a crack to the head. Do you know, this could rewrite all those childcare books. That's enough excitement for today. You're going to have to leave her alone now to give her some rest. You all right, Tracy? Yeah. Thanks to you, Marco. And you, Millie. Everything's back to normal. 